Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here today with uh, Gary Hager and Sue Livermore, and they are with the Catholic Heart Work Camp. And today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the work camp um, and about uh, the need for homes to work on, as we'll learn uh, that's what they do. Uh, kids from all over the country, I understand, come into our community in the summertime and uh, work on homes. A uh, little bit of a day of caring extended, <laughs> I would have to say. But first off, uh, Gary, why don't you tell us a little bit about maybe the history or, or Sue, which one would, I think they did paper, rock, scissors on this. I think Gary, you won. Um, so tell us a little bit about the history of uh, the Catholic Heart Work Camp. Well, Catholic Heart Work Camp began in Florida uh, 21 years ago with 100 campers uh, coming to the first youth camp. And now it's at 21 years, 50 camps, 13,000 people or campers as we call them are now participating uh, nationwide. And it's just phenomenal. Uh, it's a, a pair of youth ministers that wanted to find a more catholic orientated youth mission experience and uh, they got together and this is what became of it and so good work of the holy spirit this is our third year in detroit lakes with it sue and i volunteer to host it in detroit lakes we're from detroit lakes we take our own kids and go for example to memphis or denver uh, on other trips so that um, uh, they get to experience uh, the culture in, in those cities. All right, and I understand you, actually both of you have gone to trainings, um, so you get to do a little travel uh, during the school year and uh, kind of get trained in on this. Now, have you been doing this for the, I mean, you obviously, both of you brought it to the Detroit Lakes area. Yes, we started it um, together three years ago, and they do have a manager training every January in Orlando, so that is kind of a bonus. Or, yeah, we get together with all the other managers of all the other 49 camps, and um, they want to keep it unified so that if you take your youth group to a camp, whether it's in Detroit Lakes or Denver or whatever, they get the same experience, um, you know, obviously different work projects, but still the same the same experience okay okay so um so how did you come upon this i mean who was the one that brought it forward as far as to our community uh, that was uh, when we were in billings and uh, we had many uh, other good adult chaperones and they said we got to bring this to dl and so then uh, we all agreed and then sue and i pretty much were handed it from that point on um, and they do a great job of supporting the other the other uh, chaperones that went and uh, we just said we want to do this we called the office down in Florida and they sent a person out within six weeks did an assessment said it was good okay let's make it happen okay. so all right so tell us a little bit about the um, the local you know how this happens locally uh, when it when is it going on and um, you know what would people expect and and how to get uh, I guess the main thing we're gonna talk about today is that you need uh, homes to work on people to call in and and um, provide you with sites to work at so Sue? Correct. <laughs> um, the dates of the camp are July 20th through the 26th. The 20th is a Sunday. That's the day all the campers arrive in their buses and, and um, minivans, et cetera, and roll in. Work days are Monday through Thursday. And with the 300 plus campers we have coming, we figure we need somewhere between 50 and 60 projects. Um, we are at about 30 to 35 right now. Um, and some of them are repeat people that we have done some projects for them last year and they still have things they need to get done and they were so excited about the kids and everything that they want, they want kids back. Um, it's not just getting the work done for a lot of these people, a lot of them are elderly. It's also a whole week of making new friends. Mm -hmm. You know, they take addresses, they write letters, they really enjoy that part of it too. Okay. All right, so what type of work um, do the kids do and uh, you know, how far out do the kids travel in the community? Okay, uh, the work is split into basically two different types of groups. One's where they're working with social service activities such as the Boys and Girls Club, the Refuge, um, working in those capacities. But what we're looking for from our community is more home work sites where the youth can come and for example, we painted a home on Willow Street two years ago, a double two-story house. Uh, the owner prepped it by having it sprayed and, and washed. So our group came in and did the priming and the painting then. And the first year, I think we did like six homes that were painted. Last year, we did eight to 10, I believe. And it could be single story, two story. We just can't get on roofs. That's against the liability rules. And um, 
the other things that we do is debrush. If you have a lot of brush in your area and around your home and you need to get it cleaned up, we'll do that. Decluttering is another thing uh, that tends to uh, overwhelm a senior just because there's, there's so many good things, but you need to start cleaning some, some things out. And then, uh, uh, for example, we also have some concrete work that we're doing to help improve the, the sidewalk going to a resident's home from their driveway or from the city sidewalk. Uh, painting inside also. Um, basically, it's anything to help improve the living conditions of the elderly that either can't afford to have it done, can't physically do the work themselves, or is the fact is that they need to have the activity in the house because sometimes, and I can speak for my father, he's been at home for two two and a half years now, and now he's going to be moving to senior living. I'm looking forward to the fact that he's going to have a lot of social contact. All right, so very good. So these kids arrive in July. So where do they where do they stay when they're here? Um, we're actually at the high school this year. We went back and forth from the high school to the middle school. Um, and that's, you know, we talked about how do we get this camp here. That was one of the key components is our school system here did not hesitate at all to say yes. You know, there's some communities that just don't want all the extra work and all the extra um, commotion going on. But, yeah, we are going to move into the high school. The kids sleep in classrooms on the floor. They have blow-up mattresses and sleeping bags. You know, we set up a stage in the gym, and they have programming in the evenings and the mornings and such. So, um, okay, <laughs> all right. So, how do people? How would people get a hold of you, or how do they uh, make contact? Here, uh, look at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> we have. Oh, except I put it upside down. <laughs> okay, there we are. <laughs> you can get a hold of myself at this number: two one eight eight four one eight two six seven. And uh, what? Um, would like to do is just get a phone call in to me. We'll write down your name, phone number, address, uh, tell us a little bit about the project, um, and then we'll come out and do an assessment to determine if it meets uh, the safety concerns, basically, of the camp. All right. And I know that I understand that Mahabi is involved, too, as well. Um, Yes, Mahabi is another of those organizations that does us a wonderful job to help us find those work sites. All right, so very good. And we're going to take a quick break and have Karen Lenius join us from Mahabi to t give us a little bit of testimony on that next. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here with Karen Lenius from Mahabi Atwa. And uh, how, how is uh, Mahabi Atwa involved with the Catholic Heart Work Camp? Well, Mahabi Atwa has been used and using actually some of our clients, our, our senior clients here in Becker County, to link their needs, their home maintenance needs, maybe landscaping, painting. We actually use those seniors then and refer them to the Catholic Heart Work Camp so that their homes are able to be maintained a little bit nicer and they're able to remain living there for some more extended time. So, okay. And you, you've been working with them for the last three years? We have been working with them for the last three years. We actually have a community service service development grant from the Department of Human Services that requires us to have in-kind or match dollars. So we're actually able to use the hours and travel time for the children and the volunteers. I should say youth, sorry, not children. But the youth and the volunteers um, to do the work and we're able to use that as in-kind for our grant dollars. So it's kind of a win-win for all of us. So a great partnership. Right, exactly. And if there are people listening who would like to, again, have their projects done, you could actually call Mahubi if you need an additional place to call. And the number is 847-1385, and we will link you up to the Catholic Heart Work Camp. All right. Just because it says Catholic Heart Work Camp, I'm understanding that it's any denomination of uh, home ownership or, you know, any homeowner of any denomination can uh, use the services provided by the Catholic Heart Work Camp. And uh, Marina's given me the signal to wrap up, but Karen, thank you so much, and Gary and Sue, uh, check it out, Catholic Heart Work Camp, on their website. I'm Carol McCarthy for TV3 Hometown Happenings. <laughs>